Hi everyone and welcome to EVE Talk, your weekly look at the EVE Online market. I'm your host, The Lone Wolf. And uh, yeah, patch coming up next week. I'm really looking forward to uh, especially the future of uh, the feature, Jesus, the feature of uh, the route being shown in space. Uh, that looks really incredible in my opinion. Um, there's also a video about the new features that's been released by CCP. So just head over to youtube.com slash CCP games and check that out if you haven't already. And in the meantime, let's sit down and have a look at the market uh, for this week. We'll start off with the minerals uh, for us miners. That's pretty important. And let's have a look at the in-station lowest prices, 593, 594 and 584 for the buyers. Uh, so on sell order, still pretty much the same price. But I am seeing buy orders uh, moving down a little bit. Uh, 584, that's 0.1 ISK um, in margin, which is a lot more than what we've seen previously. And I suspect that the chart is still looking pretty bad. Yep, it's uh, still looking pretty bad. Let's have a look at Pyrite, uh, which is still moving up. Um, it's a cent, especially uh, after the expansion. It's been going up quite a bit. And it's now above 15 ISK on the chart. Let's have a look at prices in station. Uh, 15.59 and 15.29 for the buyers. So that's 0.3 ISK margin, uh, not a lot. Uh, but uh, prices are definitely up. Uh, Pyrite is doing quite well. And um, yeah, I have a decent stockpile of that. So I'll have to wait and see maybe for just a little bit longer, but yeah, now that it's breached 15 ISK, uh, Pyrite is definitely uh, a decent uh, money maker, I think, for uh, for miners. So I'd still say that uh, Scordite is taking the top spot uh, for what you should be mining at the moment. Uh, unless Mixalon has made a huge turnaround, but I don't expect it to. No, that one is still, it, it's dropped from s above 60 to just above 50. Um, and now uh, it, it's uh, been flat for maybe a few days, a few weeks or something like that. But uh, that was a serious correction here uh, for Mixalon. Of course, if we take uh, the pyrite chart <coughs> like this uh, to going from, oh, what, what shall I take, around 10 ISK maybe. Now it's up above 15 ISK. Uh, it might know a top at some point and then go back down towards 10 ISK. Uh, in a similar way that uh, Mixalon has gone from... Um, yeah, from about 52, 53 to a top of 62, 63 and now it's back down to where it was before. So it's going to be interesting to see if, if uh, the pyrite uh, follows that same pattern. Uh, but yeah, Mixalon has been uh, down quite a bit and as you can see from over the summer, I would say uh, up until the expansion, Mixalon was definitely uh, the uh, asteroid to mine uh, because of the high prices for Mixalon but right now that's been corrected by quite a bit. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, prices in station then. Uh, 53 ISK, something like that for the sellers, 50 ISK for the buyers. It's also a bit more of a margin there, 3 ISK. Uh, still not that much but uh, on, on 50 ISK that's, what would that be? It's above 5%. Uh, we've seen much lower margins uh, while the price was uh, was as high as uh, 60 to 64 ISK. So that's pretty interesting uh, to see this correction. Let's have just a quick glance at uh, the, the other um, minerals. Isogen uh, moving pretty much sideways at around 150 ISK, which is still pretty high considering the prices uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, for the rest of a year ago, I should say. Uh, Zydrine, uh, after that big speculative top here, which is probably, uh, which was probably due to the changes in um, rogue drone drops, uh, it's actually been holding on pretty, pretty well, uh, around 800 ISK. Um, Noxium still available on high sec here. You can see the, the that same speculation. Uh, that's, that went on um, at the, the mineral changes of the rogue drone drops uh, before last summer and then a really big correction uh, below 500 ISK uh, if you had bought there that would have been pretty amazing but once again holding on just below 800 ISK and um, mm -mm. 
where is the last one I ah, make a site there we go which is uh, actually the most expensive one and once again uh, as you can see uh, the rare minerals uh, especially the ones coming from zero zero did know th that big uh, top here at uh, around May and then corrected quite a bit in fact uh, Mega site correct below 2000 ISK and now it's holding on what are the current prices? Uh, 2100, uh, 2100 ISK, something like that. Uh, and the buyers pretty much the same, so that's only 100 ISK on a 2000 ISK uh, price, so that makes just around 0.5%. Uh, in margin which is not a lot uh, even the margin on Mixalon is actually higher than that if you consider um, if you consider of course the fact that this is a much lower price so per mega site you will of course have a lot more uh, wiggle room in ISK uh, but percentage wise uh, these are this is a very uh, low margin and I think that these are current prices uh, due to uh, supply and demand which does seem to be a lot more constant uh, for some reason considering all the speculation that was uh, going on uh, before last summer so pretty interesting overall all the prices to me seem to be holding on uh, quite decently mixalon has stabilized and pyrite is still going up so yeah for the miners that says cordite is still what you want to try and mine if you're a high sec miner uh, let's move on to the tech one ships then let's see what the drake's been doing um, yeah, okay, holding on above uh, 50 million ISK, uh, maybe even a slight uptrend trend on the 20-day moving average visible there. Uh, prices though in station 49,750 and 48,400, so that's just a 1 million ISK margin, that's really, that's nothing. And um, it's just below uh, 50 million ISK, whereas the chart uh, on the 20-day um, moving average sh uh, still showed an uptrend, uh, the 5 day moving average going back down below 50 million, so around 50 million is, seems to be the price for um, for the Drake, which is actually pretty good because it uh, has gone as low as 46, 47 million as well um, before the expansion on, on speculation of how bad the nerf would be, but uh, still very popular, it's going to be interesting to see uh, if that's going to change a lot uh, after the uh, battle cruiser. Um, Changes will be uh, the the, the uh, rebalancing is what uh, they call it uh, is going to be done uh, because the Drake is going to get a bit of a hit there as well. Uh, if we'll see uh, a new price point at that point uh, after that uh, has been released uh, or not, um, pretty interesting. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Although at the moment I would say it doesn't look like it's moved a lot. Uh, let's just take a quick look. For that reason, actually, that reminds me. I should take a quick look at uh, at the other battle cruisers as well. So let's have a look at Harbinger chart, bad chart. The Oracle, well, pretty stable, you know, pretty stable around that 80 million ISK band. And then the Prophecy, uh, actually it knew a small top, but then it's been correcting back down. So below 40 million ISK, uh, it stopped just above that, but now it's back down below. It's pretty interesting actually. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that much movement. Uh, the Ferrex is up a little bit uh, after the announcements of the rebalancing for battle cruisers. So Brutix just holding on, Myrmidon, bad chart, but not really seeing a lot of movement there. Uh, Talos has a, is, has a more interesting chart for traders. Uh, it went up to up to 90 million and now it's maybe 81, 82 million. That's a serious drop since the expansion actually in the Talos prices, which is not so good because I am um, producing them. Uh, Cyclone, yeah the Cyclone is maybe the one exception right there, you can clearly see that you went for, from 30 to 35 million um, and that uh, the, the higher price does seem to be holding on, so Hurricane hurricane down quite a bit actually, uh, so it's it's really in the min metar and Tornado down as well, but uh, I think that's just, uh, yeah that mirrors the Talos chart. Uh, but so the cyclone and the hurricane does look uh, to be the ones where most of the action will be people are expecting less hurricanes and far more cyclones so yeah pretty interesting um, how the other battle cruisers haven't moved that much after this uh, announcement uh, but it's definitely the min metar ones that have been uh, have had a, a, a clear impact on their price uh, after this uh, after the announcement moving on to take two I'll 
take a look at the Guardian chart, which, what, what the hell is that, 600 million price point at the beginning of the year still doing there, uh, but okay, let's have a look at prices in station in 129 to 120, so that's a 9 to 10 million ISK margin, um, almost 10%, that's almost straight worthy then in my opinion, um, I'll have a quick look at the other logistics cruisers as well, just to have a feel if, if the charts well, you can still see the five day moving average going up and down quite severely, but once again in a, in a much more narrow ba band of around uh, 10 million ISK. So let's have a look at prices here as well, 128 to 120. So pretty much uh, the same as, um, as the Guardian here as well. Um, for the Oneros, uh, you can actually see it, it was my pick for the last few weeks for, for some trading opportunities and you can see that the variations in the 5 day moving average appear to be going in a band of about 30 million ISK actually, whereas uh, 10 million for the other ones. Let's have a quick look at the margin here, 135 for 130, so that's only a 5 million ISK margin. Of course the 5 day moving average is at a low point at the moment, so you can expect the margin to go back up. So for this week, I wouldn't put my money in the uh, in in the Oniros. And let's have a quick look at the Scimitar, which has a lot less variation. Once again, um, I, it's hardly visible on this 20 million uh, price difference in this band. So it's, I would expect that to be pretty low. But ex uh, unexpectedly enough, this one has 132 for the sellers, 122 for the buyers. So once again, a 10 million ISK uh, margin. On a pretty low price, um, I'd be looking at the Scimitar for next week actually, and at seeing how the Galente uh, on Euros is going to move, uh, that this margin could open up uh, over the next week. But I do expect that to happen uh, from lower buy orders and not um, higher sell orders. Uh, but it's pretty interesting, looks like to me, uh, if you look at the five-day moving average uh, bobbing up and down like that, that uh, the the Take two market seems to have recovered from whatever has happened around uh, the expansion and is, is now coming uh, together a bit, especially on the uh, Guardian, although it's not that visible. The margin is back up to 9 million, which we haven't seen uh, in a long time, and thus it, it's coming into a trade worthy territory, uh, in my opinion. And uh, on, on the other ships, uh, like the Basilisk, especially, and the Oneros, you can see that that the variations um, of the five day moving average are back as well. Uh, so yeah, some trade money, uh, I think in the take two market, uh, you have some chance to make some, some nice trade money. Let's move on to the take three market then. We'll start off with the melted nano ribbons, which are still holding on below 5.5 million. So I don't expect a lot of movement in either the Loki, which is down just a little bit, five day moving average, uh, moving down prices below 180 yeah just below 180 175 for the buy orders though so not a lot of margin there uh, let's have a quick look at the Tengu prices then Tengu also yeah 178 172 and what's the Tengu chart looking down yeah still trending downward so I would say you, you can definitely pick up some cheap tech trees at the moment uh, well below 200 million and um, because the melted nano ribbons are so stable, I don't expect a lot of movement uh, at the moment in the tech tree market. It's just a cheap time to buy tech trees, in my opinion. Um, what's next? A quick look at Galente fuel blocks. Uh, some interesting data points here. That's a bit surprising and maybe a very slow uptrend. Uh, but until that 20 day moving average breaks 14,000, I don't really think there's anything serious going on. And let's have a quick look at technetium then. There was some speculation there. Uh, let's have a look at a three month chart. Oh, look at that. It's definitely um, some movement. Um, you could say this is um, Technetium going up in price. Uh, personally, I think it's due to speculation. If I look at what I read on Eve News 24, uh, the cartels in 00 have been coming back to the forefront a little bit, and it's not really Technetium. Uh, itself that was uh, mostly um, covered uh, but I think that is just speculation um, that went on uh, related to that news of the zero zero cartels I don't really think there's anything um, that is uh, uh, due to the nature of how technetium um, is being produced or due to supply and demand I don't think that it's that inelastic um, 
and uh, yeah I just think that this is speculative uh, small bubble which I completely missed uh, but uh, I, I could have known about it uh, just making the link between the news uh, coming out on evenews24 and mitani.com about uh, the cartels of, of moon mining products um, and that, that there could have been an impact on the market I, I've completely missed that but it was clearly there um, unless of course you do think it's not due to speculation that we were seeing uh, this, this huge top here um, from 77 I would say 78 maybe yeah from 78 to around 80 almost 88 uh, yeah that, that's just too big a movement in, in no time flat uh, in my opinion to be uh, due to something and uh, that's that has really changed in the technetium market all looks like speculation to me um, and then finally I'll end up with the plex uh, which if you look at the chart is continuing its downward trend and I'm seeing some data points uh, below 520 million pretty amazing let's have a look at the prices in station then 527 uh, 600 for the sellers 517 800 for the buyers yeah buy orders drop below uh, 520 million and uh, the person that uh, said uh, that uh, he's expecting Plex to slowly go down towards 500 million by this summer uh, it looks to me like uh, he's uh, he's on the right track there um, Plex are definitely have definitely not held up at 550 which I'd called as the bottom uh, so far I've only invested in one Plex that I bought at 535 uh, but uh, yeah at the moment I would not be able to sell that one with a profit so uh, pretty interesting I think that's good news for people that uh, like to pay their account with plexus uh, uh, prices seem a bit more reasonable to them I think um, it's going to be interesting to see if FanFest is going to have an impact on on uh, the plex market in my opinion uh, but of course um, one could uh, expect more interest in the game this more demand for plex uh, and uh, maybe a higher price because of that but uh, personally I think you shouldn't discount the ability uh, the possibility that there might be plex sales as well done by CCP thus increasing supply once again uh, if something like that happens I wouldn't be surprised to see this downtrend continue uh, despite uh, the interest uh, the increased interest that FanFest might bring and thus that this trend towards 500 million by summertime it, it could definitely be correct uh, and then that means that for that one place I might have jumped in a little bit too early um, although I still think personally that uh, buying Plex at the moment uh, when you can afford them is not a bad purchase um, at all anyways yeah very interesting to see the Plex uh, coming down like that um, although I feel that general activity in the game is, is uh, still very high and uh, Yep, that's it for this week guys, quick look at the EVE Online markets and I'll see you all next time.